This is an eight row repeat worked on a multiple of four plus three. For my sample, I have 23 stitches. I'm using fingering weight yarn and US size seven needles. For row one, which is the right side of the work, you're going to start by knitting two, then purl one, and then the repeat is yarn over purl four. And on the last repeat, you will yarn over purl two, knit two. For row two, you start by knitting the first three stitches. And then the repeat is yarn over, slip one, and you want to make sure that your yarn is held in the back. The yarn will be in the back throughout the pattern when we're slipping stitches. So slip one with the yarn in back. Next we have the yarn over from the previous row, so you're just going to slip that off the left needle, and then knit three. So again the repeat for row two is yarn over, slip one with the yarn in back, drop the yarn over from the left needle, and knit three. For row three, you're going to start by knitting two, purl one, and then the repeat is yarn over, and then we have our yarn over and our slipped stitch from the previous row. So with the yarn in back of the work, you just want to go ahead and slip both the yarn over and the slipped stitch to the right needle and then purl three. So again you yarn over, make sure your yarn is in the back of the work and slip the yarn over and the slip stitch from the previous row, purl three. And for the last repeat, you'll end with a purl one, knit two. For row four, start by knitting the first three stitches. And 
and then the repeat is yarn over. This time we have two yarn overs in our slip stitch from the previous row. You're just going to slip all three of those to the right needle and knit three. So yarn over, slip the two yarn overs and the slip stitch, knit three. For row five, going to start by knitting two, purl one, and then the repeat is yarn over. You're going to slip the three yarn overs and the slip stitch from the previous row. Again, making sure your yarn is always in the back when you're slipping. And purl three. Yarn over, slip the three yarn overs and the slip stitch from the previous row. Oh, I slipped with the yarn in front. The yarn should be in the back. Slip the yarn overs and the slip stitch and then purl three. And your last repeat, you're going to end with a purl one, knit two. Okay, for row six, and this is the row that might be a little tricky or give you a little bit of trouble, you're going to start by knitting the first three stitches. Okay, so now we have four yarn overs and a slipped stitch. So if you turn your work just a little bit like this, you can see you have your four yarn overs and there's the slipped stitch. You're going to purl the four yarn overs together, slip those off of the left needle. You're going to knit the slipped stitch and then with your left needle you're going to pick those four yarn overs up and you're going to purl them together again. Okay and then you're going to knit three. Okay, so if you turn your work just a little bit, you can see your four yarn overs and your slipped stitch. Purl the four yarn overs together and slip them off the left needle. Knit the slipped stitch with your left needle. Pick up those four yarn overs and purl them together again. Okay. 
and knit 3. So that row, row six, is what makes this part of the stitch fabric, or the stitch design, which is pretty cool. Okay, so for row seven, going to start by knitting the first two stitches, and then the repeat is knit two together. Purl one, slip slip knit, purl one. And you're going to end the row with a knit two instead of your purl one in the last repeat. And finally, row eight, you're just going to knit all stitches. And you would just repeat those eight rows for the pattern. 